we bought this place because it it was next to my daughter. And his life was taken short because a car hit him. When he passed away, I made my way to Greenbrier Methodist Church <laughs> and said, I want to come work for you for no salary. I just want to volunteer and, and have a place to go where I can use what talents I have and, and spread it around for some of the other people maybe that have not heard. It was on uh, Sunday. I got up early. I have to be at church maybe about 8.30. I had a, had a busy, busy day, and the longer the service went on, the worse the weather got outside. So I said, I can't stay for the second service. I've got to go and be at home with my daughter because she is so afraid of bad weather. I got home, had time to fix lunch and take a nap, and my daughter called and says, there's a storm coming this way, so you need to come over and get in the storm cellar. So I piddled around, you know, and just took my time. And, and when I got over there, she was standing outside of the storm cellar rushing me. She says, you better hurry if you want in the storm cellar. And it did not last very long. We came out and it was total devastation. I was at her house, I could not even see my house. We couldn't even walk over here at that time. I had to wait till the next morning to be able to see if my house was even here. On Monday morning when we got up, this yard was filled with people, volunteers to come and help. I know everybody's not a Christian, and maybe they don't even think that way, but maybe they will hear a word somewhere after all this that God is our source. He is our source of life. He's our source in everything we do, in our finances, in our witnessing, and all those things that we're supposed to be doing as Christians. And, and He is the source, and as long as we look to Him, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, and maybe some others will hear that and be fine also.